Hey, what's up, Greg here, the founder of your inception. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna answer some of the most interesting questions that we received about the tropics in the past weeks. Um, if you wanna have your answer question, or if you have any questions, basically, and you want me to answer a question, then I suggest using a hashtag, ask your inception, just post it uh, below any of the videos that you're watching, of course, on my channel. And once a week or once every two weeks, it depends on how many questions I get, I will try to find some of the most thought-provoking uh, questions and answer them. I got some pretty cool questions um, this week and let me um, ask them or actually read them to you and then I'll um, try to answer them. So there's one question from, huh, I don't know how to, what his name is, Savus, I think it's Savus. Um, and he asked me if I take Kratom um, and he said, I know it's not an tropic, but it is worth trying because it has a lot of benefits. Now, I don't know how much you know about Kratom. Um, this is a tree basically and the leaves of this tree, as far as I know, are, um, are often used because of its potential benefits. Now, I've done my research, I found a lot of cool potential benefits and I, you know, um, Kratom is often taken by people who were taking drugs before. Um, apparently it's very strong, but it can be very unsafe. And that's why it's illegal in many states, for example, in the US. It's illegal in many other parts of the world. So I'm not taking Kratom right now. I think um, it's, um, it's just too risky. Maybe I'm gonna try it once, but I think it's just too risky. And my opinion about taking risky ingredients, risking the tropics is, is like this. If you know something has, or well, I try to weigh them, you know, the risks and see if the risks are higher than the potential benefits, I will definitely not take something like that. That's just my opinion. Cool. So another question that we received this week is, give me a sec. Uh, there's one guy, uh, Padilla Family Adventure, <laughs> cool name. And he said, if for a board exam, um, if I recommend Qualia Focus or Mindler Pro. So here's my opinion. Uh, when it comes to exams, um, you usually need to, to uh, well, you need to prepare for the exams usually, right? So you need to have a lot of focus, a lot of energy, um, brain power, uh, the best working memory before the exam and then during the exam. So this is usually, I don't know, it depends on the exam, but usually this takes like one to two weeks, uh, the preparation, then is the exam and that's it. So for such short periods um, of, of, of full focus, I would probably take quality focus. It, it contains caffeine, it contains alteanine, it contains some other ingredients that my leopard doesn't. And for the short term uh, of periods of, of high focus that you need, I believe quality focus is better than my Pro. If you wanna try any other high quality nootropic supplement, check the links below, you're gonna find more information about them. Cool, another question um, I received this week, and actually that's the last one we're gonna answer today. It's quite interesting. So the question was, if you should combine Rudiola Rosea um, with Bacopa Munari, or if you should combine with Ashwagandha, uh, which combo is better? So I have a lot of experience of combining Rudiola Rosea, which is an adaptogen herb, with Bacopa Munari, another adaptogen herb, it some, somehow it really works well, this combo. Um, the, the both adaptogen herbs are pretty similar, the way they work. Uh, so this works really, really well. Now, I've tried ashwagandha on its own. I tried it with Bacopa Munari because it, it was part of one nootropic stack. And um, I tried also with Rudiola Rosea. Um, it was part of a, another nootropic stack. It's hard to say if you should uh, combine all three or at least Rudiola Rosea with ashwagandha. Uh, but based on my experience, I think better results are seen with Rudiola Rosea and Bacopa Munieri. Why is it so? I don't really know, because there is really um, a lack of science there, you know, especially com uh, science that would look at both ingredients and um, try to see uh, how they work together. Uh, but based on my experience, they're just I just saw better results with Rudiola Rosea and Bacopa Munieri. But keep in mind, if you take this combo, you need to take it for at least six to eight weeks, um, preferably even longer, because the couple of takes some time to provide the benefits. Cool guys, so we answered um, three very interesting questions um, that we got in the previous week. Um, 
If you have any other questions, as I said before, just use a, a hashtag, ask your inception, and once a week, uh, maybe once every two weeks, it depends, I will gather some of the most interesting questions and answer them. Cool, don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook, Instagram, don't forget subscribing, and I hope to see you soon, guys. Take care.